Hello guys, it's your pal Sunshine State Aviation here. <sighs> Just gonna tell you guys a story and um, I'm gonna explain what's going on with the uh, stuff that's going on in the rail fan community right now. But first off, I'm gonna start off with the story of how I joined the rail fan community and how I left it. So basically, it all started around 2017 while I was surfing through the internet and um, I met some buddies and one of them was a rail fan who I won't mention here. And um, we started to talk a lot and I started to got a lot into trains and suddenly a lot of things have stirred up, but nothing special. But And it got to me on how I became a rail faner. So it first off started of when I went to a train station to take a train. It was a commuter train. It was called Tri-Rail or, or whatever service it's called. Um, then I started filming it and I uploaded it to YouTube and it became successful. Then I was like, hey, um, one day I can be a rail faner. And then it all started again and I started making trips to train stations and I started to take um, pictures of trains and take videos of trains and I started to go to rail lines including FEC, CSX and all those rail lines down here. And um, it became, um, it's it, it was never successful at first but then it became uh, a career. It, um, it started blowing up my mind on how it became successful and I started to gain a lot of views and attention from other friends and suddenly um, uh, around um, late 2018 I started to be into aviation and I started to do some plane spotting and um, I suddenly began to take trips to the Miami airport and Fort Lauderdale airports to, to like film some planes that take off and land. And um, it was a uh, pretty, not much successful at first than rail fanning. I didn't gain much attention and um, it was never, I would say it was never successful for me to do a channel that was about um, aircrafts and trains at the same time. And I gained a little bit of subscribers and then up until like, um, 2020 during the pandemic and I got into some drama online and I'm, I'm not going to mention the drama because I don't want to bring drama down here and it's a it's a it's going to stir up a lot of drama if I mention it so it's best not to mention it but um yeah I was also into aviation too like I told you it was never um successful for me I did gain some subscribers, but, you know, um, even after the COVID hit, I never got outside the house much often, and now that I have a job, it's going to be a lot of, of difficulty for this channel to keep on running, but, um, yeah, but the 2020s, um, I didn't go outside much because I was focused in life, and, um, I had a, uh, I had some college work to do, and then after I graduated high school, and that's how I focused on my normal life. Then this YouTube channel, but you know, everything in the rail fan community nowadays has just gone downhill, especially with people going to rail yards, tampering with switches, and. Um, vandalizing trains, painting them, and, um, you know, nothing special. And it can get me arrested if I do that. Because it, it almost happened to me once, like when I went near a CSX switcher and suddenly the security sort of caught me and I almost went to, to jail, but it's nothing special. That was a long time ago. I'm not going to bring it up because I'm... Um, I always know how to follow the rules down here. And I know what to do. And I'm never going to do that anymore. Especially if now that I have a job. And 
I don't focus on online content creating anymore. But it's not surprising of how the Rail fan community has gone nowadays. Especially with um, this um, Capital City Rail, whatever his name is. And um, Sebastian DeYoung tampering with switches and causing trains to derail. Like, it's um, not good. But I'd say um, the reason why I haven't been filming, it's because I now have a life and I've officially moved on from the community. So... It was never successful at first, but it's best for me, to, for me to move on. So I'm sorry, guys, I haven't been filming for a year. It's just that I now have a life, like I told you guys. I'm now in my own world. I just want to say um, thank you guys for all these years of content creating. I want to thank you guys for all your support. So this will be my final ever upload on this channel. And um, that's all I'm going to say. Peace.